Well, just look at that. The, the trees are loaded with snow. Uh, I had a rabbit snare sit here and it's shrunken up just before this last batch of snow. And uh, you know, when you get a fresh dump of snow like this, uh, take the rabbits a couple of days to get you moving around, make some nice patch, you know, for you to set up. But right here, I'm going to set up a pound and bait it up with birch, and the rabbits will want to come in, feed off that birch, and uh, and hopefully we we'll get a couple here. And down there, stainless steel wire, but. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, brass wire here as well. In this video, I'm just going to talk about and, and some tips on using brass wire. Well, right here is where we're going to make my pound, have my snares, and you can see uh, the trees are, are loaded with snow. And if you get a bit of wind, a lot of this snow could fall off the trees and fall on your snares and uh, put them out of order. So, you know, since I'm going to take the time uh, to set these snares, I don't want to lose a rabbit just because of a bit of a snow falling out of a tree. So, I'm just going to haul on. Just shake some of that snow off. Yeah. Maybe this one too. And also, if you're fooling around and you bump up against the trees, a chance you know some of that could go down and bag of your neck, and that's not good either. <laughs> probably put three snares here one right there one right there and one right here and it's kind of like a natural bank line there so those would be a tree snare pound here is a stainless steel wire I showed that there a little while ago and if you've never seen that video uh, I'll put a link in the description but today I want to talk about brass wire and though stainless steel is silver color and the brass is gold color the silver is better in this case <laughs> and uh, yeah this one here is 20 gauge 25 foot length and this one here is 22 gauge and because the 20 gauge is nice bit like, lower the number the bigger the size and that's the 20 gauge compared to the 22 gauge. You can see it's, it's a nice bit beefier wire. And uh, also costs more, you know, because there's more wire used, more brass used to make it. Uh, this one I paid $2.98 and this one I paid uh, $3.98. So, but obviously it's, it's thicker and, uh, you know, better wire, of course, than the, the 22 gauge. Straighten that out there a bit. You'll notice when you're working your fingers with this wires like stainless steel and brass, you'll notice that the brass is quite a bit softer, you know? And I'm just going to... When I make snares, you know, no matter if it's stainless steel, wire, or brass, I just like uh, fold, loop it back a little bit and nip it with my fingers and twist, out the eye, twist the eye out. But that can be kind of hard on your fingers, you know, especially if you're not used to it. So you can just buckle it back like that. You just get a little bit of pliers or something just nipped the end back like that and then just use your other hand to twist that eye in and you'll find that uh, you'll be able to twist in a tighter eye that way and you can use your pliers now to cut your wire off with but but today I want this near uh, a little bit long this time for well, I'll get to that in a minute but uh, I just took along some fingernail clippers to show that uh, they're great for uh, stipping off uh, rabbit wire as well so just a couple more little tips there well, I got this one set up here now, and this here is with stainless steel, and this is uh, just on a small tree, but there is like a little bit of movement there. But especially with brass wire, you want to have a good solid anchor, you know, uh, so that uh, when the when the rabbit gets a snare around his neck, you know, when he makes that tug, it'll really uh, draw tight around his uh, throat good, you know, and give the chance less time, the rabbit less time, you know, to kick around, be able to twist up or kink up the wire and break clear. Since you know, you can get away with it a bit, like you know, with, with stainless steel. But, but for brass wire, you really want to have it on a good, good solid anchor. So, this here is a bit big, but this is all I got. To, this is what I got to work with in this particular place. So that's what I'm going to use. And I actually, it's one of the longest snares I cut off in a while. Over here, I just blocked it off with some uh, branches and stuff, stuff like that. And over here, I just use some dry limbs. Alright, I got uh, this pound set up here now, and uh, I got three snares here, 
two with brass wire, uh, 20 gauge, and uh, one with stainless steel. And you know, stainless steel uh, wire would be my first choice, you know, for rabbit snaring. Uh, brass would be my second choice. Uh, but in some places, you know, you can't use stainless steel, so in places like that, brass would be my first choice in places like that, I guess. So, and I got some uh, tips of reverse tree there for bait. You know, the rabbits will try to get in and eat the tips and those buds off, so. You know, they love that in the winter time, so, you know, just look around, you know, most of their food now is covered up with snow, so, so this is the kind of winter food they're going after, and uh, they'll want to get in here and uh, feast on that, so, yeah, I got this set up here, uh, I guess before too long, I will be back checking this and uh, see how it works out, so I guess that's it for this one, uh, just a quick uh, video, just wanted to show and talk about uh, brass wire a bit uh, you know I use it before in the past uh, especially you know sometimes you just can't get stainless steel wire you know we're in pretty remote you know small communities uh, and that you know it's lots of times you don't have a lot of a choice you know a lot of selection so you get what's available but we're just stainless steel at that's what I'll buy and you no know, stainless steel I'll buy brass and uh, I'll buy 20 gauge you know a little ticker wire over 22 gauge a little more expensive but uh, you get what you pay for <laughs> so i guess that's it i uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, like always thanks for watching and uh, i hope to see you all in the next one